answering the call to uh, fast while preparing for the Easter celebration, uh, I decided to uh, go coffee free uh, throughout uh, the time of uh, Lent. And it is uh, challenging. The first day, the Ash Wednesday, when I got up and had my uh, prayer, once I was done praying, I had to go back to bed because my body was absolutely shocked. I didn't know uh, what was uh, what was uh, going on, uh, and that was the first time in over decades that I went back uh, after uh, getting up from bed and uh, completing my prayer. Uh, and uh, every day now, still though it's over three weeks uh, now, whenever I am getting up in the morning and I am thinking of my beautiful, lovely, tasty uh, uh, coffee, I'm asking myself, why? <laughs> why am I doing this? Indeed, why? Uh, this a time without uh, coffee allows me to rediscover the meaning of uh, the meaning of a cup of coffee uh, in my uh, day daily uh, life, because it's not just about the a, a caffeine uh, kick. It's also not just about the taste, though I am a, a coffee snob. I have my uh, favorite uh, frank and honest uh, whole beans uh, freshly uh, ground in the morning and uh, prepared in a specific uh, way in the macchinetta. I have a, a, a particular mug uh, that I am using only uh, for that for that uh, coffee, so the taste is uh, really important in my uh, in my life uh, and uh, and uh, and of course I, I miss it uh, it is also about that that moment that moment with uh, uh, with the cup uh, of coffee which uh, accompanies uh, my uh, prayer uh, morning for so many years uh, already there is that moment of breath combined with that aroma of those freshly uh, prepared uh, coffee with so much uh, with so much uh, care there is that rest there is the combination of all those factors so being now for uh, for uh, over three weeks uh, without coffee allows me to rediscover uh, how I uh, how, how what I appreciate uh, about uh, having uh, that moment uh, in my in my life. But fasting is also a great way of cooperating with God's uh, grace. On growing the fruit uh, of uh, self-control. Uh, I remember uh, in my uh, childhood it was a uh, quite a common thing uh, in in Poland and observed within my uh, family that we were doing the meat free uh, Fridays and uh, fascinating how I could go throughout the whole a week without even thinking uh, of, a, of a piece of uh, meat and on Fridays I would be always dying for a hot dog. <laughs> And there was a, a little place uh, in my uh, hometown uh, in uh, in Austin, which was uh, on the way back uh, from uh, from school, and I always wanted either a hot dog or a hamburger uh, on uh, on a, on a Friday. Um, and back then, I absolutely didn't understand. Why was I supposed to like? What was the, the purpose? What was the reason why I was doing this? But uh, years later, when those uh, meat uh, meat free Fridays stopped having any uh, meaning uh, to me, uh, I discovered how I was losing my muscle of will <laughs> muscle of will is the is the muscle that allows us uh, to make 
uh, healthy, good, right, uh, loving and kind uh, choices uh, in uh, in our life. Muscle of will is that uh, is that amount of energy which you can uh, put towards learning, towards uh, working out, towards uh, fulfilling your dreams. Because if you want to uh, achieve something, something great, if you want to accomplish something, it requires dedication, it requires a uh, commitment. Uh, the, the way that I uh, couldn't just simply get up from the couch and run uh, 10 uh, kilometers. I had to work for that. I had to commit uh, three times uh, a week, half an hour. And the, 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 the half an hour, the, the, if I would take it out uh, and look just at one workout, it, it seemed meaningless. Only the repetition uh, of the of the workout, going out uh, three times a week, no matter what, no matter the weather, no matter the temperature, no matter how busy uh, was my life, I had to show up uh, for the for the workout uh, to achieve running those ten uh, kilometers, and very soon you will begin to face more and more difficult choices uh, in your life. Some of them, they will be straightforward. Sometimes you will know uh, what is the right decision to make uh, at the moment, but sometimes it is not going to be clear or sometimes it's going to be challenging. So how often you know that you're supposed to, to learn uh, and, uh, and, and you try to avoid it because there are so many other uh, and more interesting uh, things to do. So when we when we fast, we create a false temptation, an artificial uh, temptation, and we are learning to be uh, with with that temptation and we discover as well uh, ourselves i am also uh, at the moment when i am not drinking my my coffee i am observing does it uh, upset me uh, uh, am i then moody throughout the entire uh, uh, day uh, am i kind uh, to uh, to myself there is lots of learning in that uh, in that process of growing uh, the the muscle uh, uh, of will and the and the more time we dedicate to do that the stronger the muscles uh, the muscle become and the more it enable us uh, to to make right choices uh, in uh, in our life but sometimes it may be difficult to even come up uh, with with an idea how to how to fast we may be tempted to to make a resolution which is uh, too big uh, and we would fail uh, very uh, very soon or sometimes it is too small and there is no challenge uh, connected to it so how do we make uh, the right uh, choice of course invite the holy spirit to, uh, to help you listen and wait for his answer. So create the space for that prayer to take, uh, to take place uh, and help yourself by uh, being specific uh, about what you are going to give up. Are you going to give up sweets or are you going to give up just uh, a chocolate? Uh, be, be very specific about that. Uh, if you say, I'm gonna give up TV, so what does it mean? I'm gonna watch for one hour less or I'm not going to turn on the TV uh, until the Easter uh, Easter Sunday. Be uh, be specific uh, uh, about that and be realistic. Uh, so it cannot be too big, it cannot be uh, uh, too little and most of all invite uh, God into that decision-making uh, process. So he will answer, he will answer with his uh, with his grace, he will enable uh, the, the growth uh, of that uh, of that fruit uh, but you know the nature doesn't really like vacuum it doesn't like empty space whenever uh, there is that emptiness uh, there will be something else put into it so we also need to help ourselves to keep uh, to keep that uh, that fast uh, by also in 
introducing what what are we replacing it with so now that i don't have my cup of coffee uh, in the morning i am having a health boosting beautiful and tasty uh, herbal tea uh, if you decide to uh, watch less tv that may be a good time to dedicate it to read uh, a book and um, if you decide to uh, not eat chocolate you may uh, introduce more uh, fruits uh, if you decide to fast on a one player video games you can dedicate some time uh, towards uh, board games which you can play with the with the uh, entire family so be also intentional about achieving something good by reducing one habit that comes maybe easily that uh, that uh, it creates that instant uh, gratification and replace it with something that is maybe more challenging but also allows us uh, to grow and most of all uh, to keep any fast uh, we need the nourishment for the soul so as a uh, whenever whenever you work out whenever you are really disciplined about that you will begin to think about the proper proper diet so when i want to go out uh, for my uh, run i am very specific about what i am uh, eating that day that supports uh, my uh, my training it it makes the training possible it gives me uh, the energy and so as we are growing the the muscle of uh, will uh, we also need the nourishment for our soul and that nourishment happens throughout the Eucharist it happens throughout the the uh, communion so uh, we need to be there at the Sunday Eucharist we need to be faithful to that practice that God invites us to because that's when he feeds us he feeds us with himself with his love and that love uh, enables our uh, inner uh, inner growth without a uh, communion uh, without the the eucharist without being there for for god's uh, grace uh, our strength uh, is is not enough it's never enough we do not build on ourselves we build on jesus christ he is our rock he is our nourishment he is the one who enable us to uh, enables us to achieve uh, beautiful things god has plan for each one of us and this is a beautiful plan it's a plan of love of hope of of faith uh, of uh, of joy uh, of patience uh, of uh, kindness it is a beautiful plan uh, for our life but we need to cooperate with that plan and to be able to do that we need nourishment and that nourishment uh, is the heart of our relationship uh, with God so please uh, continue uh, with your daily uh, prayer and commit to those Sunday uh, masses I pray uh, tonight uh, to to for us to meet uh, on Sunday uh, as the as the community to be there to be there for ourselves to be there for one another and to be there for God's uh, grace with that intention in our hearts let us now pray together in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen thank you for staying with me till the, the very end i hope to see you soon i hope to see you soon uh, at the sunday mass god bless